Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here with Chegg. In this video, we're going to discuss operations with matrices. Let's start with an example of subtraction. We have to compute the following. We have the matrix with entries 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 2 times this matrix here with entries 3, 4, negative 1, 2. So we're basically subtracting two 2 by 2 matrices. The first one is a 2 by 2 matrix because it has two rows and two columns. So this is equal to, just work it out right away. Let's keep the first matrix the same. So it's one, two, three, four. And then you can do something with the negative two. You can distribute the two or you can distribute the negative two. I'm just gonna distribute the two and leave the minus sign here. So two times three is six. Two times four is eight. You just multiply it by each entry. Two times negative one is negative two. And then two times two is four. Whenever you have a number like this outside a matrix, you basically just multiply it by each of the entries in the matrix. So two times three is six, looks okay. Two times four is eight. Two times negative one is negative two, and two times two is four. And now we just subtract each entry like this. It'll be one minus six, so that's minus five. And then two minus eight, that's minus six. And then three minus negative two, that's really a three plus two, that's five. And then four minus four, and so you get zero. And so this would be the answer to this particular computation. Let's go ahead and do some matrix multiplication because the addition and subtraction is pretty easy. You just add the corresponding entries and subtract them. But the multiplication is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Here the directions say to multiply if possible. Let's look at part A where we have the matrix with entries 2, 0, 1, 4 times a matrix with entries 1, 4, 2, 5, and 3, 6. So in a case like this, we first have to see if it's possible. To determine if it's possible, what you can do is you can look at the dimension of both matrices. So to find the dimension of the first matrix, well, it has one, two rows, and one, two columns. So it's a two by two matrix. It's rows by columns. Second matrix has one, two, three rows. That's the first number. And one, two columns. In this case, uh, the answer is no. And the reason I know that is because you look at these inside numbers. And if they're different, the answer is no. So it's not possible in part A. You cannot actually perform the multiplication. So again, to determine if you can multiply, you write the dimension down, so it's rows by columns. So the first one has two rows and two columns, the two by two. The second matrix has three rows, one, two, three, and two columns, so it's a three by two. And you look at these inside numbers here, the two and the three. If they're different, it's not possible to multiply. If they're the same, then you can multiply. Let's do an example where you can multiply. Part B, we have a product of matrices again, and the first matrix has entries one, negative one, Two, zero. The second matrix is the matrix with entries 3, 0, 1, and 1, negative 1, 2. The question is to multiply if possible. So the dimension of this first matrix, this is a 2 by 2, just like before, because you have two rows and two columns. And this matrix here, the second matrix, is two rows, so it's a 2. Remember, rows comes first, and three columns. So look, the inside numbers match. They're both twos. So yes, we can multiply. And the resulting matrix, by the way, is going to have dimension equal to the outside numbers. So it'll be a two by three, okay? So when you can multiply, the resulting matrix has dimension equal to these outside numbers. So let's just do the multiplication right away. So this one's going to be a two by three. Okay, we should get two rows and three columns. All right, so here's how you multiply. To find the number, or the entry, they're called entries, in the first row, first column, you take the first row, first column, okay? First row, first column. So one times three, I'm gonna put parentheses for the multiplication symbols instead of dots, plus negative one times one. Again, this is in the first row, first column, so we use the first row, first column. Now we're in the first row, second column. So we use the first row, second column. First row, second column. So it'll be one times zero 
plus negative 1 times negative 1. And then over here, we're in the third, uh, first row, third column. So we use the first row, third column. So it'll be 1 times 1. I'll put a dot there that time. Plus negative 1 times 2. So it's 1 times 1 plus negative 1 times 2. Now let's go down here. This is the second row, first column. So we use the second row, first column. So 2 times 3 plus 0 times 1. 2 times 3 plus 0 times 1. This is the second row, second column. So we use the second row, second column. 2 times 0 plus 0 times negative 1. 2 times 0 plus 0 times negative 1. And the last one is third row, third column. So third row, third column. 2 times 1 plus 0 times 2. 2 times 1 plus 0 times 2. Let's just go over that one more time so you, to make sure you got it because this is tough. So this is the first row, first column. So we do 1 times 3 plus negative 1 times 1. Check. How about this one? First row, second column. 1 times 0 plus negative 1 times negative 1. Looks good. This one over here, it's first row, third column. 1 times 1 plus negative 1 times 2. Looks good. This one here is second row, first column. Second row, first column. 2 times 3 plus 0 times 1. Looks good. Second row, second column, 2 times 0 plus 0 times negative 1 looks good. And then this, ah, the second row, third column, 2 times 1 plus 0 times 2. Wow, it's a lot of work, right? This is why it's tough. And it just takes a lot of practice. Um, yeah. So let's clean this up. We've got 3 minus 1, right? It's 3 minus 1, so that's going to be 2. This is just going to be 1. And this will be 1 minus 2, so minus 1. Uh, this is 6 plus 0, so it's 6. Uh, this is just going to be 0 here, right? Because all of this is 0. And this is just going to be um, 2 over here. And so that will be the product. So pretty interesting, right? And, you know, just good luck. If you're, if you're working on this and you're having a hard time, um, just keep practicing and eventually you'll get it. Matrix multiplication is one of those topics that just takes a lot of practice. Hopefully this video has been helpful and you've learned some math. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out more videos on Chegg. Until next time, good luck.